Okay, so we're going to have a look at how we create an animated GIF in Final Cut Pro 10. Now what this is going to involve is setting up a timeline at a smaller than normal resolution. So we're going to set up a custom resolution and then we'll cut our video down so that the animated GIF will, will loop uh, continually. And then once we've done that, we'll export out an image sequence and set that up so we can import it to a GIF generator or an animated GIF generator online, okay? So the first step is just to check out the video that we're gonna use here, okay? So we have um, this video of surfing on the Ottawa River and we're gonna just loop the video of this surfer doing a nice little cutback there and, and make sure that's set up so that it will loop continually. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is just have a look at the frame size. Now, in your browser here, um, you'll be able to see the, the frame size, okay? So you can see we've got the image name, the content created, and then somewhere, I've moved this frame size here, but somewhere along this list of columns, you'll see your frame size. Now, you can reorder this, so we can drag our frame size anywhere we want within this list. So I've just pulled it across the left so that we can we can see it more easily here. So we want to set up a timeline that is 400 pixels by 320 pixels here. Okay, so slightly smaller than uh, standard definition video size. So let's go to File, New, and Project, which is our timeline. Okay, and we'll call this Animated GIF. Okay, and then we're going to set up a custom resolution. You could set it based on the first video clip, but I'm going to set up a custom resolution. So custom resolution, it's going to be 400 by 320. And I'm going to have it run at 25p. Okay, so no drop frames um, in this video. And then once I've done that, I'm going to click OK. So now we can grab our video, drop it right onto the timeline. Okay, and then we're going to try and loop when the surf is coming from the bottom to the top of the wave. So I'm just going to cut this out from the beginning here on my timeline just by using the selection tool. And then I'm gonna look for a similar frame somewhere towards the end. It's gonna be an animated GIF, so we're not too worried as to whether it's a perfect kind of loop. So see how this works. Okay, I'm gonna drop the sound right down. Animated GIFs don't hold any sound, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, so if we go to view playback, we can just check that loop is turned on or command and L to toggle loop on and off. Okay, and then we'll come back and we'll play this through. Okay, and that's pretty good. I'm just going to speed this up um, a touch, okay? So we have four or five seconds here. So I'm just going to select my clip and go to Retime up here, and I'll just double the speed so that we have a, a nice, quick kind of playback. I'll let that render. And then we'll just go back and check the playback again once that's rendered out. So got the 100% green there, so we know it's rendered. We'll play this, okay? And we have a nice little looping video of a surfer on a river. Okay, so let's export this out into the, the frames that we need. Okay, so our first step is to make sure that we've got the export image sequence enabled within our share button. So if we go to share, you can see I have export image sequence set up here, but if you don't see that, then you can go to add destination and just drag image sequence across the left here. Okay, so just hold it, drag it, and it will allow you to add that export image sequence function um, to your um, destinations. Okay, once you've done that, go to share. We're gonna export out an image sequence. And we're gonna export it out as JPEG images, okay. Click next, and we're gonna drop it straight into this folder that I have set up, this animated GIF folder. So we'll click save there and let that render out. And again, we can just watch the background share as this exports out. And it should be pretty quick, small file size, a short video. And you can see here my share is successful. So let's just show that. So we'll jump into our folder and we can see now we have those different frames all exported out here. And that's what we need to create our animated GIF. So we've got, we double click into the folder, 135 frames that we can import into our animated GIF. Okay, so let's jump into the website that we're gonna use. We're gonna jump to Safari here. Okay, and it's gifmaker.me that we're using to create our animated GIF here. Okay, so you can see it accepts JPEGs, PNGs, or GIFs, and we'll click Upload Images. We'll navigate to our animated GIF folder, 
and then just select all these images. Okay, so I just used shift, clicked on the top image, used shift, and then clicked on the bottom image, so I can open up all those images. And now you can see gifmaker.me is importing those images. Okay, and now you can see that gifmaker.me has created a preview of my animated GIF, and it's looping uh, through it as well. Okay, okay, and each frame here is lasting for 500 milliseconds, so I can increase the... Okay, so each frame is lasting for 500 milliseconds, which is about half a second. So I'm going to type in a new value here. Okay, so we want it to run around 25 frames a second like we did before. So we're going to get this to run for 40 milliseconds. Okay, and you can see now the, the animated GIF speeds up nicely. Okay, so once we've typed in 40 here, we can go ahead and here and we can create our GIF animation. Okay, so the images are imported and we're ready to export a GIF animation. It's going to be at the same pixel size as the original, but we can rescale it here. Okay, click create GIF animation and then we have to wait while gifmaker.me creates the file and then we can download it and it's ready to embed on a web page or upload to different sites online. Okay, so we can see now that our GIF animation has completed. If we scroll down, you can see we've got the option to view the GIF or download the GIF um, and then some other options to edit our animated GIF. So we're going to download the GIF and then we'll just click view as well so we can watch it at the same time. So as the frames are downloading, the GIF will run a little bit slower, but then once they're loaded in, it will speed up to the speed that we set it to. Okay, so that's the animated GIF running at the speed that we set it up to. Okay, so let's have a look at the file that we downloaded. So if we go to the downloads folder, we can see our output here. We can drag that straight into our browser here, and we can see the animated GIF on our own downloads folder. Okay, so now this is a file we can then go ahead and upload online. Okay, now if we did want to optimize this GIF so that we could upload it to sites like Twitter, um, then we'd need to make it a slightly smaller file size. So let's go to the editor here on gifmaker.me, and we're actually going to drop this down to 30% of the original file size. Okay, so we'll now scroll down and create the GIF animation. And once our GIF is ready, we'll go to download the GIF again. And then this time we'll jump to Twitter. Okay, then once we're on Twitter, we can go to upload image. We can select the image that we want to upload. Click choose, okay. And we'll type in a short description here. Okay, and then we can tweet it. Okay, then once it's uploaded, we have a nice looping animated GIF. Okay, so that's how to get an animated GIF out of Final Cut Pro and then onto Twitter. You can also upload animated GIFs to any website. If you have any questions about creating animated GIFs or about working with Final Cut Pro 10, then please don't hesitate to get in touch with me. See you on the next tutorial.